Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila. I'm here to do your mini reading for May of 2016 for love. Okay, so we're going to do a three card spread. It's just going to be a really quick um, look into your love life. Um, if you need a more personalized reading, the link is in the video description box. Um, so we're going to be looking at the past. These are energies that still affect you. How your past is holding you back. What you need to take from the past and use it for your advantage today. Uh, what is going on with you presently. The energy at the present moment. The opportunities and challenges that are currently being presented to you. Um, also the future, the outcome of the situation. And what you are wanting. So it's all about law of attraction. Uh, we got a lot of people that play victim. That attack maim and kill because they're blaming everyone else for their life when they are creating their own life okay so this month i'm gonna have a deviant tarot reading for you guys see no evil hear no evil speak no evil stop being around stop embracing things that are tearing you down okay All right, so we're going to do past, uh, past, and present, and future. I've got to get away from this busy area. Ugh, i got to get out in the country somewhere. All right, so let's look at this card for you, Scorpio. In the past, we can see that you've had to take a real good look in the mirror at yourself. Okay? I mean, this is just practical advice. Okay. You're able to see yourself for who you are, someone who is beautiful, someone who is balanced. And this is Scorpio or Scorpio rising. So this is in the past. Evidently, these energies came up for you. Probably the recent past, probably right now. Okay, because again, this is a reading for May. So the past would be probably maybe last week this is two visions of ourselves that complete one another so you are seeing yourself who you are and that can either be a good or a bad thing it can be traumatizing okay it can mean that you are choosing a crossroads between your bad self and your good self This could be about partnership, commitment. Some of you could have made a commitment in the past just recently. Some of you might be planning on committing to somebody in the summer. Okay? So this denotes balance and a good relationship in the past uh, for some of you. But again, that, you know, um, what I would say is energies that are still in the past that still affect you is what I want to focus on, is the fact that you um, are struggling with getting this balance of who you are. And it's holding you back. It could be, it depends on what the other cards are. What do you need to take from your past and use it for today? that you need to learn the lesson that you can't say or do anything to your partner you need to practice restraint and humility you know you're kind of it is in the context of love that's what this card means okay so it looks like that's what you were dealing in the past Scorpio um, in the present you did get the tower this is a major arcana major life event this means that Literally, you are going through presently a change that you have no choice. It doesn't matter whether or not you want it or not, or maybe you do want it. But there's a major change happening in your life right now at this moment.
These are patterns that are broken, Scorpio. Certainties that are shattered, choosing a different path. So some of you may be breaking up with some people. Some of you um, might be um, leaving some bad situations behind. You've been looking at yourself and then you get this tower card presently. So it's making a whole lot of sense to me that you're making some positive changes, Scorpio. You need to stick with it. In the future, I did get the initiate of wands. So this means that you're going to go to the next level of initiation. The initiate is equivalent to... Equivalent to the Queen. Okay, so the Queen of Wands. And so the Wands suit in the Pagan Tarot and in the, and in the traditional also, this is about your challenges, your identity, your morals and values. Your morals, how you see yourself. And it means maturity and confronting obstacles. So you're going to learn in the future, especially during May, that you're going to learn how to handle your issues better. And that's going to make a whole lot. And that's a very positive thing. Um, not only that, the Queen of Wands, um, to be in the future position, this is a literal person in your life. For some of you, Scorpios. This is a career-oriented, hard worker, honest, independent, very loving mother, thoughtful, reliable woman in your future, okay? Looks like this person manifested around March into your mind and you're seeing her. This is what you want. The Queen of Wands is a lively, very vit vital, passionate, and independent woman. She success. She. She suggests a, a person who is career-oriented and successful. Someone honest and thoughtful and confident. And who, um, you know, this could stand for you, Scorpios. You're seeking positive self-development. So again, for some of you, this could stand for a literal person in your life. So um, I think that's going to do it for this reading. I'm going to go and... Um, this is, a, again, so I'm seeing some positive stuff for you, Scorpio. Okay, if you want a personalized reading, the link is in the video description box. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you for your full reading. Bye.